before I go from the upper head, I will shortcut my half presentation because most of the speaker already covered it. So what is the issue about the green revolution, this and that? So I will come to the point in the last topic. So my topic is the green credit program and opportunity for the One Health Mission and farmer income. Recently in the October and in the June, some gadget notification released from the ministry. I will show in the, my slide. So these are the focus on the green credit program. But we are working in different, different umbrella like that uh, regenerative agriculture, natural farming, organic farming, carbon management, conservation agriculture. But ultimate go, ultimate all games uh, or all uh, directions are same for the one health mission. So one health, health means health for all, health for all planet, whatever the we, we have assets on the planet. So it is matter about the all health. So I will link my this work. So my focus related to green revolution, I will re, uh, go through fast. So that's why reason I'm seeing the 50% portion I will cover very fast because time shortage is there. Crop productivity, agriculture market, agro uh, chemical market, impact on the health, soil, carbon organ and organic farming, carbon management, cropping system, and carbon credit program, it's a green credit program. So possible and whatever the action, because still there is no clear cut policy in the country and many other countries at the global level. That's why reason we every day holding the COPS. So you know very well, uh, we with the green revolution, we got six fold production to our country and we are sufficient to, we, we can say we are right now secure to food, availability, accessibility and affordability to every person so we can but right now something is going wrong with the green revolution you know matter about the uh, dark revolution so it is the matter about the biodiversity biodiversity in the many angle so we must be focused to maintain the biodiversity but challenging issues is there you can see in the graph after 1950 continuously drastically increasing the demand of the nitrogen so i will cover the three point nitrogen subsidy and drug market and parallelly drug market is also flourishing it means something is going wrong i am not saying we cannot consume the fertilizer but parallelly if you correlate some studies there so increasing the fertilizer market drug market is also increasing and future production is very dangerous about it so that is the reason punjab is one of the example of the hottest port of the cancer so uh, I, I myself is evidence of that one because I was uh, in PhD in Bikaner and I was also moved always in the Batinda and Jammu through this trend. So 70% are related to the patient and families, the all passengers, because Bikaner is a good hospital about the cancer. Other than this, even in front of the Central Effects Committee, 69% death of the children due to the malnutrition. It means we, we are worried about the malnutrition. So every day we are we have heard we, we heard in the news from the channel, new channel, English and Hindi newspaper are continuously farmers are focusing and it is a big sector of the fertilizer subsidy. I am not saying that we cannot give the subsidy of the farmer because it is very important pillar of the country's farmer. But recently, continuously increasing the subsidy like that one fertilizer, one DAP bag price, actual price is 1350 but it is paying by the government, total price is more than 4000 So it is huge subsidy is going. So under the pressure of political issue, when farmer will be on the road due to the, we can, because the raw material is not continuously supplied to the future. So future will be very dangerous or all these things will be happen shortly according to the prediction of the global level. So that is the reason every year government is putting like that current year 22,303 crore rupees put the subsidy for the fertilizer sector. So one sector is related increasing the fertilizer, increasing the drug market, increasing the subsidy, but parallelly increasing the CO2 in, and more re responsible of the CO2 is many sector. One of the big se sector is industrial sector. That is the reason every city is suffering from the different different type. If see one is a hot example is Delhi and new business is starting the Delhi like that oxygen bar. But all rules are for the farmers only. Because this is only not a we can say major issue for the pollution. Because India is 
different different agriculture sector emitting including the whatever the input is there production livestock we have big, big population so total co2 emission is this but only fossil fuel and other coal emission is in billions of ton and continuously it is increasing due to the energy sector is very big so right now we have commitment in the cop 26 and right and continuously accord, according to the commitments we have go to the net zero emission and agriculture is a key player in it so we must be reform the policy according to the renewable energy and how can we manage the bio energy and how can we manage the biomass so it is biomass comes from the agriculture so it is a hot spot because if you will go to the agriculture every sector is emitting co2 only and it is not coming back to the again to the earth but only agriculture sector is there it is coming taking back the co2 from the atmosphere because you know very well all are from the science background photosynthesis through the photosynthesis we are capturing the carbon and we are lucky enough to, because in our our country we can produce two or three or sometimes four crop in a year while in western countries they are able to cultivate the one crop in a season due to the rest of the season will go to the snow and winter season so we can uh, generate the lot of carbon or capture the lot of carbon through the capturing the carbon another term we can say carbon sequestration so how carbon sequestration will be a green economy it is very important and right now farmer is focusing only to generate the income from the produce the economic part like that yield and other these things but another window is there and not a matter about the income it is a matter about the sustainability right now we are saying sustainability use it and leave it to future generation but who is the responsible already damage the ecosystem and this is the graphical example of like that we are here degenerative agriculture right now but we are crying for the sustainable agriculture but we come to the regenerative agriculture so then thing will be come to the negative to positive so it is important important so but question is here how can we go to the upper side or we can say regenerative agriculture so we must be make a plan through the systematic agriculture and uh, enrich the soil through the many component one example is organic farming and natural farming is one of them but we cannot implement implement it as per my personal perception whatever i am presenting here it is my personal view not or whatever evidence i received and i go through the research and other these things and experience from the here and us other these things so that's the reason i am presenting my personal pers uh, perspective so we select the sports and follow these organic farming natural farming and regenerative agriculture on that sector so through then we can go to the implementation from the another area so through that when we can make a healthy biomass or a healthy smbc and other component to the on the agro ecosystem because all agro ecosystem linked with our health so different different component we are living because human is very selfish we always do the work for our own we can say suitability in any component maybe soil maybe environment maybe water body maybe any component is there and if something is doing for the temporary but it is going to the long term it's very dangerous situation for the health that's why reason concept is came to the one health mission and even in uh, g20 our one so our prime minister prime minister said Q, one earth one family one future parallelly one health environment all aspect all, all all aspects of the environment will, will, will be healthy maybe climate water air maybe any component on the environmental issues animal health because we are depend because lot of population is depend on the animal if animal will be healthy we will be healthy so human is human is depend on the all components so if we will go to the concept one health but the question is there how can we go to the one health so where is the solution soil soil solution is the soil organic carbon because <coughs> through the soil soil is a costly body on the earth but we we are taking it very lightly because upper top layer of the soil we are receiving most of the food we can say 90 percent food is coming from the top layer of the soil not a matter about the receiving the food 
are like that animal is also depend we are also depend and environmental issues also link <coughs> with that one i will continue my voice is clear yes sir yes okay. yes it is Thank clear you. that's very Thank much clear yeah so my question is here how soil have all solutions because food is there environment is there water is there whatever we are putting the soil it is going to the water body going to the atmosphere going to the uh, we can say feed soil not plant plant soil to plant plants to animal and many pyramid of the ecosystem so we must be manage these ecosystem through the upper layer of the soil because <laughs> critical limit of the soil organic carbon is minimum 1 to 1.5 and more is there but right now we are suffering from the reducing the soil organic carbon 0.3 to 0.6 percent is there in different different locations so i am lucky ki i uh, worked under that that personality is a, we can say a father of soil carbon sequestration professor lal said ki if we will put the 4 gram of soil per 1000 gram of soil so it, the all solution will be there within the 20 years if we will go to the more it will be very fastly so as per my personal experience over there whatever we are putting the soil the one big issue is there everybody is doing the research to adding the carbon through regenerative agriculture through organic organic farming through any type of recycling management at the farm level but question is there how long it will stay because it will stay more long yesterday i was also in inaugural session so honorable to gujarat ke rajpal ji the unhone kaha ki if continuously organic carbon will be more so fertilizer consumption will be less yeah i do agree with this but question there how can we manage it it is very important and it is opening the new window we must be stabilize the carbon so many long ways this experiment was 40 year old started by the professor lal so i worked in that only 2 to 7 percent carbon is stabilizing it means rest of carbon is going to upper side if carbon will be stabilized more the so aggregate stability and other these things will be more in the soil but right now for the carbon credit program soil is not included but through the other men management practices manipulation so many climate is not this and that we <laughs> sorry so we we can also uh, generate the carbon credit not a matter about the soil we can generate the carbon credit through the agriculture system but how is it carbon credit we can generate through the many type of activities there we must be go to like that one example from the rice because in most of the country blaming to the india because we have more than 10 million hectare of the rice and we are cultivating most of the part is transplanted rice and it is uh, uh, one news 3 30670 kg co2 emission from the one hectare so right now i am also arguing one agency from the uk they want to purchase the carbon credit from the up area so how can we will sell the carbon credit it is just a matter of if we will reduce that carbon credit they will documented it and sell it to the international market so we are lucky ki we are cultivating two or three crop to sell out the more carbon from the our agriculture land because we are cultivating the many more crops so we reduce the emission from the cropping system we can sell out to the another one not a matter about the sell out to that one we it is a matter about the manage the different type of angle of the ecosystem and in crop crop uh, in the uh, crop production many practices <coughs> is there is there through we can manage the soil organic carbon because like that in my last uh, one paper in geo drama i think coded ki most of the carbon is emitting so right now not because our country is the highly temperate or a tropical country so most of the carbon we are putting it is going to the atmosphere so we must be stop it emission so we can also because parallelly new window is opening to the generate the carbon credit at the soil but right now it is not included in our ministerial gazette notification as per my personal experience most of the whatever we are putting it is staying to the soil 1 to 5 year but <laughs> as per my 
earlier experiment in USA, it is stay for 20 to 40 years, only 2%. Because 40 years, the zero tillage and 20 years, the 20, 20, 30 centimeter layer is, uh, we can say, removed from the laser level on the base of that experiment. But we have need to move, move to the more than, it is depend on the chance, ki which type of technology or what, whatever approach we are using, we can stay for the more than 100 and 200 years. But how CO2 emission will be reduced? Because many type of specific practices we can use to the reduce the carbon emission. And we can convert it to the credit. I'm also uh, conducting two, uh, both uh, experiments from the DST and both are related to soil and upper part of the soil. And both books are published on the carbon stabilization more important than the adding the carbon to the soil. So it will what we are doing the regenerative agriculture we we are trying to improve the soil health and soil health is linked with the all health so right now how can question is that how can we promote the carbon credit <coughs> carbon credit is a simple system industries like that one industry is emitting the 50 per ton of the carbon but they are not able to go to the zero right now concept is net zero emission so they must be purchased, how much they are emitting, they must be purchased from the another sect. And agriculture is a good sect. So we can sell to the industry, not a matter of the industry. Any sector, those are emitting the lot of carbon to the... So this concept under the COPS. We sell the carbon, purchase the carbon, do the net zero emission because industry have, for any country, for the development must be do some services through the production, but they are not able to go to the zero, so they will purchase it from the another window. So that is the good window for the farmer to sell out the from the field how much carbon they are saving, they are reducing the emission, they sell out to industry. 170 types of carbon credits there through the different different concept. And one good example is the agroforestry. That's why reason government of UP is also implement it is the first government implemented the plan for the to generate the carbon. agroforestry so this is the recent news from the government of up see how how they will uh, link the farmer make the That is, and another window is that to utilize the waste, many type of waste is there. So we use it and try to capture the more carbon because the waste is emit a lot of carbon. So we use it and we stay it in the soil and store it and produce the more biomass. So it will be another window to generate the carbon. So if you <coughs> just, we, we, ne we, we never be can add only. We must be think how can we, it will stay more, how can it will be generate the more carbon credit. So that is the good approaches we must be follow at the ground level because these experiments from the rice wheat system because in India rice wheat system is dominated or other countries are blaming to us related to transplanted rice. So we can reduce it because we can also find out the interaction and whatever the social impact of that interaction. So through that interaction we can find out which type of practices we must be follow at the ground level. One example from the south, maybe it's from Karnataka. So uh, nature pharma is also uh, working with the farmers to generate the carbon. With that, uh, they, they uh, according one example in the news, 20,000 carbon credit they generated from that farm. So that will be sell out to the another one. So many <laughs> other companies are working to the generate the carbon credit in the market at the international level. And in, in India, I think Vera and Gold Star is also working for the in Haryana. Haryana to generate the uh, carbon credit and sell out to the international market and they are paying to the farmer. Yeah. And how can generate? It's a very simple aspect. We uh, adopt the methodology related to IPCC and other 
cooler technique is their measurement reporting verification and uh, how we convert it in co2 and we convert to the carbon credit so how much carbon we generate but we must be but it's my personal suggestion how can we must be go through the more uh, focus to the carbon credit we are putting many type of taxes for the consumer maybe any type of consumer is there here, if you are going to uh, for a matchbox, we are must be paying a, paying the tax. So why we cannot putting the carbon tax, a small carbon tax, and we divert it to the take the interest to the farmer and give the incentive to the farmers. Then farmer will take the interest. They will be start to increase the reduce the emission of the greenhouse gases. They will try to increase the generate the carbon credit. So and just right now we are focusing for the green under the green car, <coughs> carbon credit program ki we farmer must be generate the carbon credit but if we will give the incentive we are putting lot of thousand of crore rupees of millions of rupees subsidy to the fertilizer and drug industry other than other sector because everything is linked so we can say nexus so to we can say manage that nexus if we will motivate the farmer with the incentive, so it will be important to all of the, we can say, individual and country population. Sir. So my point Sir. is here, we must be reform the policy. Sir, so how can... Finish, uh, soon, uh, due to the paucity of the time. Yes, but my, uh, I think some, you uh, I started late, but I will club it in the two or three minutes. Sure. Sorry for that. So we must be reform the plan and policy. Still, there is no plan and policy at the country level. So we must be do the plan and policy and restore the soil health and other component for the and we include the some other component in the agriculture system. Right now we are giving the training. How can we will make the um, we can say save the water? It's okay. It's very costly resource. How can we will do the um, practice for the better uh, vermicomposting? Other than type of so many traditional practices is there. We are uh, covering it from the 1952 to till date. So we have to manipulate that. And we come to the in advanced phase. How can we go to the net zero emission? How can we restore the more carbon? How can we generate the more carbon credit? So that type of policy is, is need, needed. Because reforming the policies, many things will be, uh, we will take on track. So then it is possible. So we renewable the all resources and develop the nexus food, energy, carbon, water and economics. Because everything is, farmer will never be do the work without economics. So we must motivate them and take the priority to the nexus. Not just an individual, so, so many individuals are working the individual, individual concept, but no, it is not good. It is individual perspective. That is the reason right now government and many agencies focusing on multidisciplinary research. So we must be go through that. These are the, we can say, gadget notification released by the government of India, Ministry of Power and Ministry of Forest and Climate is one in, on 6 June, another in 12th October. So right now policy framing is also started about that ki how can we will generate the carbon credit green economy this and that so nas is also working on that sector started take the initiative ministry is asked to the nas ki how can we will do that so these are the parameter and how can we will go to the benefit to the farmers so the, the work has been already started my trust as per my personal opinion trust is think about the involve the farmer training not a, the farmer's training related to NRM training. Just we are giving the traditional training. Must be focused on the One Health mission. How can Nexus is linked? Need to divert the subsidy to manage the ecosystem services. Improve the farmer living standard through the incentive, incentive payment for the NRM. Right now, another window will be started pay the for ecosystem services. So it is already in the pipeline. So it will come out to the platform. Eco intensification through the integrated management through nexus approach understanding the understand the role of the carbon in the food nutritional economic and environmental economy soil carbon and credit involved in the national policy then things many countries already included the tax and policy planning about the carbon but india is also started the thinking and many program is also have been started about that 
need to focus the soil carbon stabilization not just for adding right now we are focusing on the adding thank you so much it's my team.